What's up, Reapers? My name's Seth, and we are back here with some more trolls. And today we're going to be taking a look at all, yes, that's right, all, of the Resistors' allies. Each of their stats, how you actually craft them, how some of them are actually more worthwhile than others in terms of mastery farming. Yes, that's right, because some of these allies are actually worth 50 mastery a pop, uh, in which case they are very expensive cons uh, over the other allies, but the fact that they give you 50 mastery might make them more worthwhile. If you're just going for mastery, they're more worthwhile than crafting like a costume or a mount or something like that, just because they are a little bit cheaper because they're an ally. So first of all, we got this little cute bunny rabbit thing, which is quite adorable. Uh, and let me actually take a peek here. I gotta get rid of the blurriness of the chat. So this is gonna be Cami of the Fleet Fight, which is going to give you nine jump, three movement speed, and that's pretty much it. There's all there really is to it, right? It's not going to end up being like a particularly uh, good ally or anything. If you wanna know how you actually craft these guys, you craft them in a resistors crafting bench, which is either this fixture in a club world or a resistor crafting bench that you find out in a Luminopolis biome, which I'm gonna have a video that's gonna talk about how you actually find that more specifically. So you can see it's a pretty expensive ally overall, considering the fact that it doesn't really give that many stats. There's gonna be 15 of these bad boys, so they cover pretty much every class in the game. Uh, and I'm just gonna kind of be swapping through them all and you're gonna get a preview of all the different costumes as well, but I'm not gonna show the video effects of them. And then we got this ugly idiot right here, um, kind of actually looks pretty good for a moth, like I actually do like the way that it looks. This is going to be Cami of the Burgeoning Breeze or something. He's pretty decent, 65 magic damage, which is kind of uggles, but 25 magic find, which is nice. Unfortunately, that does mean that this guy is going to end up being a little bit, uh, a little bit more expensive in the resources here just because of the whole magic find thing. He's going to end up being a little bit more fairy dust. Uh, I think a little bit. No, he's not more of this or anything. Okay, he's not that bad. Outside of the fact that he cost the memory matrix, but I don't know. He's, he's not really as bad as I thought it was, honestly speaking. Uh, then there's going to be this cute little frog guy right here. He's kind of adorable. I pay no attention to the mount. I'll have a separate video of that. But I like him. He, I, I just like the frog mounts in general, and kind of having a neon one is really neat, dare I say. Uh, he's going to give you 7 jump and 35 magic find. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why so many of these allies give magic find, but honestly speaking, it's not like you're going to be crafting any of these guys other than just collecting them and getting mastery. Uh, some of them are actually really, really cool, though. Then there's going to be this, the cami of... I don't know, uh, Quiet Contemplation, which some of these guys have the weirdest names ever, like seriously, just completely ignore it, just wipe it from your mind. This guy's going to be very expensive, just because of the robotic salvage and the logic loops, but Golden Seashells, they're going to be pretty easy. Golden Souls, though, yikes! Uh, however, it's going to end up being a very tiny mount, because it's going to be the first reskin mount of the Narwhal that we've seen. Really, really happy that we got an iron one of these because, seriously speaking, uh, I really love the way that this little fish guy works. I wish that it was a little bit bigger rather than being so tiny, but I love how it's like, please don't leave me, master. You know, like I love the way that they look when they're like uh, trying to keep up with you. It's absolutely ridiculous. Uh, and then we got this little guy right here, which is going to end up being on my Fay. And he's pretty cool because he's just a hamster. Uh, generally, you know, he's not too expensive. They're all kind of very evenly balanced outside of when we get to these later ones right here. Those are the ones that actually cost a lot, but they're the ones that also give you 50 mastery, right? So look at him. He's a cute little, he's just a cute little hamster, which I'm pretty sure the only way you could get the hamster allies was from the extra life pack. So it's kind of cool that we get to craft it. You can see he farts every now and then too. He's kind of gassy, but we've got four jump and 25 laser mancy from him. So he's not bad, uh, kind of a decent little digging ally if you don't already have like Digsley or anything like that but you know why not just go for it just because of coolness sake and I like this one I actually really like this one this weird little uh, tentacle dude who ends up costing all of this stuff uh, and remember all the materials are going to cost even more plasmium but I like them this one's kind of cute while also feeling like it's like strong in a way you know like he's just kind of adorable in his own little regard like look at him he's just he tries so hard you know and he just doesn't even matter it's just hilarious but his stats are whoopsie daisy his stats are going to end up being 40 laser mancy so that's a little bit weird especially for a uh little squid guy to end up giving you that i don't know and then we got this guy who's gonna give you one percent to your crit hit uh the items they cost are considerably cheap honestly speaking but it's going to end up being a hummingbird that is probably the slowest hummingbird i've ever seen um in the entire world because a hummingbird uh, normally flaps its wings like a helicopter but i really like this ally just because it kind of feels like a miniature phoenix 
You know, like I wish that they would give us a Phoenix because I actually really like the way that this guy looks. The shading on the wings is done very well. And just generally speaking, he's a really cool looking bird ally if you want to have a little friend that's going to protect you, right? Uh, and then we got, ew, another uh, one of these idiots, which honestly speaking, I'm not really a fan of the seahorses. Maybe somebody is, but for myself personally, no, not really. 15% max health, 15% health regen. He just kind of does this. He just kind of flutters doing nothing. That's it. He's a seahorse. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> uh, but then we've also got the Cami turtle turning tides. So he's going to end up costing quite a bit of mushroom chunks, but mushroom chunks is super duper easy. As you can see, though, your robotic salvage slowly starts to drain quite a bit. Because I, you know, I've been grinding my Robo Salvage for like years of just having the Tome passively. I always end up using my Robo Salvage Tome passively, which now I don't anymore because now it's all about Plasmium. But in either case, I've been using it for that long and I am straight up out of Robotic Salvage. Perfectly out of Robotic Salvage. And I had a lot, dude. Like, this, all of these items cost like so much Robo Salvage. So you gotta really keep that in mind. But otherwise, we got a cute little, he's a cute little turtle. Kind of want to turn him upside down and make his shell into a bowl of soup. <laughs> you know? Nice nice little turtle soup. That, that'll keep you app uh, appetized. Appetized? I don't know. But then he's going to end up giving you 33 magic finds, so that's not too bad. Uh, and then right after, like, this is where it starts getting to some of the more expensive allies, but otherwise there's going to be this guy right here. It's kind of like a little squeakers thing. He's going to give you 6 jump and 4% uh, to energy regen. I got him on my boom boom, and this one's actually pretty expensive. Actually, is this guy where the uh, mastery starts kicking it up? No, he's not going to be. It's, I'm pretty sure it's the glory guy. Yeah, that's where it starts getting to 50 mastery and up on the list right there. But this guy, he's okay. The Cinnabar is really expensive, though, honestly speaking. Just for this little guy, he's kind of cute. I really like his tail, though. And he kind of just reminds me of, like, an electric mouse or something like that. It's not necessarily like Pikachu. I mean more like... Like, it kind of looks like a radio that walks and talks or something like that. Like, yes, I am evil, and I know it. He's kind of got these evil eyebrows, too, but he's, he's cute in a way, because it seems like he, I don't know, it reminds me of Pinky in the Brain or something, right? Uh, and then we got this guy right here, which is going to be uh, minus 8% incoming damage and also reduces cooldown time by 10%, so he's going to be pretty decent as kind of like a Chronomancer Cubesly alternate. But you can see these guys start getting more expensive in their crafting components because this guy's already got like 37 Logic Loop, uh, you know, uh, 60 Dragon Coins for some weird reason, five Shaper Stars of all things, and then Sentient Shards. None of these guys cost Sentient Shards. These guys all suddenly do. And uh, he's going to end up being just a tiny little Dragon Ally, honestly speaking. It just kind of reminds me of the Neon Dragon Ally. So, oh, I should probably be doing that, but I got to try and finish this video right here. Well, I'll try and finish this video, and then I'll go and far farm some of those idiots. Um, but then we've also got this guy right here, which I actually really like this one. Uh, the un Unified Opposition. Like, jeez Louise, these names. Uh, 25 Matrix, a lot of Robo Salvage, Shaper Stars, and an Sentient Shard. And he's going to end up giving you 3% to your attack speed and 15% crit damage and also chance when an nearby enemy dies to gain a large damage and movement speed boost so he's going to end up being pretty much the same as a raptor berserker outside of the fact that he's obviously not going to be nearly as powerful but he's going to be a little two-headed dragon ally and it's kind of cool how he like uh, kind of has the whole resistor theme where one side's blue one side's yellow and each of the heads are animating individually so i guess it's a new ally kind of it's based off of one of the streamer dream allies but i kind of like him he's kind of cute in a way but also kind of gross at the same time and now these last ones right here these three are my favorite i love these guys they look great uh so we got this one right here which is going to end up being more robo salvage more charge uh, circuits, um, more shaper stars, and more sentient shards. And it's going to end up being a little griffin ally. And look at him. Doesn't he actually look like kind of powerful? Like th this looks like a pet that you would buy in another pay to win game. You know, it would just be vanity, but it, it looks cool. Like, I like him. He actually looks really, really neat. Uh, what were the stats on him? Did I even read those? Five jump and 0.3% uh, to your crit hit. Who cares? And gains a movement speed boost when a nearby enemy dies. So this one actually says chance when a nearby enemy dies for a large damage and movement speed boost. So that's interesting. I might have to test that out and see if that's a unique uh, thing. I don't know. But then we've got this guy right here, which is 
obviously going to end up being another quite expensive ally, especially because look at that plasmium. A thousand extra plasmium on top of the logic loops? Like, yikes. Out, uh, but it's going to end up giving you quite a bit of different stats that honestly is not really worthwhile. Six to your movement speed, ten to laser mancy, and seven to superstition. Superstition is a stat that doesn't actually do anything. But most of all, whoopsie daisy, most of all, he's going to be kind of adorable. Look, look at him. He's like a baby Yabaki. Like, I kind of like it. He's the closest to Yabaki we'll ever get because for some weird reason, they just won't add that mount to the game yet. But seriously, I, I like him. He's kind of a hothead. Like, he kind of feels cool. I like his, uh, you know, his mohawk. It's really, really colorful and neat, right? And then last but not least, we've got probably one of the coolest allies, uh, which is going to end up being also a pretty good one. It's kind of a cotton candy reskin that's going to give you 50 magic finds, same as cotton candy, but it also gives you 10 energy regen. Most of all, you're using this just because of the way that it looks. Also, the size of it is bigger than most of the other allies, so you can actually, you know see what it looks like instead of all the other ones being microscopic but it's going to be another expensive one with a thousand over a thousand plasmium uh the memory matrix shaper stars sentient shards blah 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 but look at him a little rainbow unicorn isn't he beautiful and he kind of looks like a dark like shadow version of cotton candy like it really really looks good i like this ally a lot it's it's definitely one of my favorite for sure Honestly speaking, with its size, it looks like it's a tiny pony, and we should be able to ride it with our characters. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking? Uh, or saying, I mean, not what I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying? That was a weird comment. I don't know. I'm, like, dead because I've been recording, like, all day just to get all this stuff out to you guys. But in either case, that's going to do it, everybody. So uh, I got to go and get to this Rampage Challenge post-haste because there's going to end up being, uh, you know, it's going to contribute towards that new badge, which we got to start grinding. Ugh. In any other case, though, folks, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, favorite, and subscribe for more daily content. And if you want to support me, you can always sponsor the channel. Check links in the description for my merch store where you can buy this shirt and a bunch of other stuff. Or you can check out Gawkbox, which is a way you can donate to me for free. Sign on. Stay epic, everybody.